There has been no shortage of Tesla battery day prediction videos. It's been tough to get a word in. By using Maxwell's dry battery electrode tech, there is way less time spent making the battery. You're no longer mixing a slurry to exacting specifications. Don't get your hopes up for a car that will go 600 miles. This is something I've been saying for a while, and I get asked about it a lot. Long-term, five or 10 years from now, I think Tesla's batteries will be cheaper than anything else. I just think it'll take some time to get there. Project Roadrunner in-house battery cell is leaked. This is it, it's way bigger in diameter. Okay, I think I get it. Bigger battery, dry battery electrodes. New battery chemistry. The tabless technology. Faster charge times and $100 per kilowatt hour. But what have the prognosticators gotten wrong? This is a video for the crazy but plausible ideas for battery day. So I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with these predictions and say some things that people aren't saying. First off, I think we're gonna see Elon on stage in a plaid jacket. He actually tweeted a little while ago about wearing an outfit, and this was in reference to the plaid Model S and X, which is supposed to have updated internals so that it's faster, it has longer range. A lot of people think it's gonna have a redesign, maybe some fresh aggressive styling is what people are hoping for, but we really don't know. But I am going so far as to say that Elon will actually be on stage in a plaid jacket. Elon has shown us before that he's not afraid to get silly. When he went to Germany, he threw on some lederhosen or whatever that is in China. He did a funny dance because they just wanted him to. He's, he's, he's a fun loving guy. He goes to different countries. He immerses himself in the customs and he has fun. Here's a prediction I think everyone is getting wrong. Everyone is saying they're going to announce the million mile battery. I did a video about this a few months ago. I will link it up here and in the description, but there was a leaked video of Jeff Don. I mean, let me just show you a clip. Follow me down this rabbit hole. A leaked internal video that I obtained shows Tesla's lead battery researcher, Jeff Don, giving a presentation explaining how their new technology could be cycled 5,000 times and retain 90% of its capacity. In fact, he said, it's easy to do this. When has Elon ever gotten on stage and said they're gonna do the thing that's easy? Other slides show projections of a battery retaining 90% after driving 3 million kilometers, which is nearly 2 million miles. That's over the course of 25 years, given one full discharge each day. You don't have to be a Tesla fanboy to get a full discharge out of that. Okay, so the thing is, if they can do 3 million miles, do you think Elon's gonna get up on stage and go, here's our million mile battery? No way. Elon is not the kind of guy that undersells. If they can do, and if they know that in three to five years, they can do 3 million miles, they're gonna tell you 3 million miles. Shit, they might tell us 5 million miles. So let me walk it back a little bit. If, if they call it the million mile battery, I guarantee you Elon will be on stage at least at one point saying, and we'll be able to do much more than that soon. I think this whole million mile battery thing is just way underselling what the actual announcement is gonna be. Okay, a lot of people are making prediction videos and they're not talking about vehicle to grid where you can charge your car up or you can use your car like a power wall to like power your house or power anything. The only reason they don't have that in cars now is because you don't want your car being charged up and discharged a lot of times because it's wear and tear on your battery. And every time you charge it up and, and release that energy, uh, there's some cracking that happens internally in the cells and it's just bad for your battery and it degrades it over time. But if you could do a million or three million, now all of a sudden 
your car can go way more miles than you could possibly drive. This will be good for if your car is autonomous as well, because you could just have it driving pretty much perpetually. It would only need to stop working to charge and get the jizz wiped out of it. But it's also good if you want to use it as a power wall. There's essentially five power wall devices in your car that are just not being used as power walls. Uh, so if you could use it as a power wall, that would be a huge benefit for you. Having a 1 million to 3 million mile battery is the kind of thing that makes that possible. I think it's going to be one of the big, big headlines is going to be vehicle to grid. Now I could be wrong, but I think they're going to let us know uh, their roadmap that doesn't have to do with cars, how they are essentially going to decentralize the power grid and distribute it among us with cars and rooftop solar. Their sort of 10 year, maybe 20 year plan for completely disrupting the energy conglomerates. Everybody is saying that these new battery cells are gonna be expensive at the beginning, so they're only gonna go in the Plaid Model S and X and maybe the Roadster and the Cybertruck and the Semi. I think that's completely wrong. And look, I could be wrong, but I don't see Elon getting on stage and bragging about how much money they're gonna save and uh, not lowering prices on their highest selling cars, the three and the Y. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna put the batteries in every version of the car because it's true that Tesla does need all the battery cells they can get their hands on. And there's plenty of people that will not want the longer range, not care about vehicle to grid, and they've got to move a lot of units. So yes, they need all the batteries they can get. But the idea that they're going to announce this new technology that's going to be better, faster, cheaper, cheaper, and that it's going to take Long term, five or 10 years from now, I think Tesla's batteries will be cheaper than anything else. 10 years for it to be cheaper? This is absolutely insane, sorry. But uh, it's going to be cheaper almost right away and that's the point. Every, this is my other prediction, <laughs> every gigafactory is gonna have battery production. That's gonna start happening immediately. Here's why. They don't even have any production facilities up and running for the semi and the Cybertruck. Uh, battery day was supposed to happen two months ago. Like they were ready. They were going to do it two months ago if it weren't for the pandemic. I just think that they're probably already putting these production facilities into place in their new gigafactories. And every car is going to have an option for the higher battery. And it's going to include vehicle to grid. So in your three and in your Y, if you want to get the top of the line, I believe you'll be able to get, you know, opt for these new batteries to be in your three or your Y. And then I also think here's prediction number. I don't know what they're going to announce some lower prices for the three and the Y for the base models. And here's why I just don't see Tesla creating some Geo Metro esque Tesla, at least not for the US market, not soon. A lot of people are going to disagree with me and say, yes, oh, of course, Tesla's going to come out with some shitty looking. Here's what I think they're going to do. I think they're just going to make the Model 3 cheaper while keeping a longer range performance version with the new batteries at the top price. You could have Model 3s and Ys that go all the way from, you know, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars up to $70,000. I just think that's way more likely than some gross looking Geo Metro Tesla. So look, those are my bold, wild, crazy predictions. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, light me up, it's fine. I'm excited about this. This is uh, the new propulsion system for the world, but it's more than just a propulsion system. It is the new foundation for an energy grid of the future. Uh, it makes solar that much more viable. It's fun to watch them grow up. I think Battery Day is gonna maybe be an eye-opening thing for uh, Wall Street. Maybe they'll see that this, uh, they'll really start looking at Tesla as an energy company instead of a car company. Let me know what you think.
I'll be back in the suit in my next video. It's an episode of Knee of the Curve on DNA storage. If you're new to my channel, I would definitely recommend checking out uh, some episodes of Knee of the Curve. First, that's the crown jewel of the channel. I've actually been getting a bunch of people on Discord helping write and research and just over there talking futurism on all sorts of topics, not just Tesla. It's great. So if you like futurism, uh, consider joining us over on Discord. Thanks to the patrons, couldn't do it without you guys. And if you're not a patron, but you wanna support the show, there's a bunch of ways in the description and I'm working on some new merch. Fonzie, tell them tell to subscribe. Oh, nice burr.